Now, what I want you to do every day when you start, and, and this is step one, I want you, this is a rotator. So this arm's got to be relaxed enough so you hit some balls and you just let this left arm rotate and fold up right to here. Mm -hmm. And your elbow stays inside your shirt. So you're only making that much swing. So it's just this little L to L where your left arm rotates and folds up right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now if this arm is going this way, if you feel it when you're doing this, if it wants to pull around like this when you come through the ball, you feel it wanting to go this way. You gotta stay there and keep hitting balls until this kind of becomes the pivot point. This rotation in this shoulder becomes the pivot point of your downswing. When you showed up, he had so much tension in your left arm. Well, as soon as you get your arm tense, now, now this is no longer a ball and socket joint. Basically, your arm and your shoulder are connected. So, so then it starts to get real shouldery. So this has to be able, you gotta remind yourself right out of the chute that that has to rotate and fold up. Anything you do where all of a sudden this shoulder gets tight, okay, so now what's gonna happen when that shoulder's tight? Because now your arm can't rotate in that shoulder socket. So now if this is tight, this is what's gonna try to make the club rotate, okay? Because your, your arm's not relaxed enough for this to happen. So that rotation or that relaxed arm lets this happen. If all of a sudden, if your arm starts getting tight, See, we can't do any of that, so then you start doing it a little bit with your shoulders, and that's when your shoulders start getting a little twisty on it, mm -hmm. and then you get over it just a little, and it's, it's a function of the fact that this gets tight and your left arm can't rotate anymore, so your instincts say you're trying to get the club out in front of you with your, with your shoulders. Okay. Now, the reality is if you did nothing but practice right there, at that speed, and that's all you did when you practiced and then worked on the face, there's no way you'd get off track. Now we go to this, okay? So I want the same speed, the same speed, but we're gonna make sure that this hip moves back and when the club starts to work out in front of you out here, you have to feel like you're, you're using the balls of your feet to push away. No, 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 don't push this way. Push away, yeah, with the balls of your feet. Don't lean back to your heels Use the balls of your feet to push away from the ball. So you're pushing away from the ball, the club head's going out, and phew, that's what makes the club accelerate. But you have to push away from the ball, feeling-wise, with your feet. You don't lean back onto your heels, you push away. So that keeps your hips back. Same speed, no harder. Push away now. There you go. That's awesome. Now, so now you've got, got my grip. I got this arm rotating, I got a feel for that, and now I'm, I'm, I can feel myself, I can feel the weight of the club working out and I'm pushing away from it so my arms can extend. If you can do this, with feel like you're not using any wrists. So your arms are still swinging, your arms are rotating from the shoulder sockets, but you're not, you feel like you're not using, like you're not hinging your wrists, so you feel like you're shutting the face. So it's an arm swing right there.